What is going on my friends out there in the crypto land? Vitaly Dubin is here and welcome to another episode of today's in crypto show. Of course, we'll talk about the Bitcoin price and why all the indicators are lining up right now showing that the accumulation period is happening right now and Bitcoin is about to break out any day, any week right now. We'll talk about Cardano that is breaking out, exploding right now with anticipation of so many decentralized applications that are coming to Cardano and Dex and games and whatnot in the metaverse and nfts we'll talk about that and we'll talk about the launch of the animal farm very very soon that is absolutely exploding and generating two or even three thousand percent apr which is unheard of and <laughs> the fomo is real and uh, it's it's happening right in front of our eyes so we have a lot to talk about let's get started we are seeing the market is a bit down today you can see bitcoin is kind of down two percent uh, ethereum down four percent we see some redness in the market so solana again down four percent so the sentiment is kind of eh you know the fear and greed is still in this lowest level in extreme fear right now and you can see those areas whenever we are in extreme fee territory this is the best times to buy historically it has always been before the pump now if you look at the bitcoin price we are uh, in no traders land we have not been breaking to the upside we're not been breaking to the downside yet on this descending falling wedge so we're currently looking uh, and waiting for the breakout in this area right now and uh, see if we're going to break this level of forty thousand dollars then uh, of course we can fall all the way to the thirty thousand dollar range if however we break here which is the likelihood of uh, 60 to 70 percent that we do break to the upside with the following targets of fifty one thousand and sixty nine thousand dollars next so time will tell what direction we are going to go on the weekly we are looking kind of bearish uh, for the bitcoin price right now we'll see how this week is going to close but looking at the indicators looking at the different on-chain forecast right we can see uh, that for example several indicators like the bitcoin hodlers net position change the yellow line is at all-time high in the last three months high accumulation period is happening for the bitcoin price you can see that uh, on even longer scale, roughly 57% of circulated BTC has been sitting still, representing long-term hodlers' outlook. This illiquid supply metric is another important indicator to consider with the current market sentiment. From the chart above, we can see that all exchanges' reserves are decreasing as Bitcoin moves to illiquid wallets. If we then compare a liquid versus liquid supply, about 75% of Bitcoin is currently held up in illiquid addresses those that have spent less than 25 percent of their income in coins so there is another metric for you and lastly the bitcoin dormancy flow indicator uh, this on-chain matrix tells how much bitcoin was spent versus how much is dormant and moved from wallet addresses and we are in this territory right now where historically in the in the history of bitcoin just only six times this indicator flashed that this is a buying zone this is the time to buy right now and before the major price appreciation and explosion so there you go uh, now we have this uh, kevin o'leary kevin o'leary right here has gone on on, on anthony pompliano's show talking about that every country will mine bitcoin soon so you can watch this video he is very popular from shark Tank, a huge investor in bitcoin that is set up to set up his uh, bitcoin mines and is looking on that very very soon even maybe underground under the sand <laughs> it's quite interesting and uh, he says it's going to be a reality that uh, every country eventually will mine bitcoin it's worthy for you to listen to this now i want to show you what michael saylor is showing how bitcoin is unlike anything else because no one can make any more bitcoin now any take more. a moment and listen every to other this. asset on earth anything else you can own houses gold silver commodities stocks bonds when the price goes up the supply increases if i increase the price of, of any stock by a factor of 10 the company uses more stock of course 
Bitcoin is the only thing in the world that's inelastic to price. If the price of Bitcoin triples, you can't make any more. If the price goes up by a factor of a, a million, you can't make any more. With every other asset on earth, anything else you can own, houses, gold, silver, commodities, stocks, bonds, when the price goes up, the supply increases. If I increase the price of, of any stock by a factor of 10, the company issues more stock. Of course. Bitcoin's the only thing in the world that's inelastic to price. In the world that is inelastic to price. So there you go. That's uh, one of the wisest men today alive, Michael Saylor. There is nothing like Bitcoin out there. And uh, there's another one, very, very good video that you can watch uh, from Mike Kaiser and uh, where he sees Bitcoin is going. He is a, one of the Bitcoin maximalists, recommended Bitcoin at $1. Uh, he says that essentially his price prediction on Bitcoin 2021 because of this macro environments and China ban, and all of the stuff that is going on is moving to 2022 that we do going to hit Bitcoin above $100,000 sometimes in 2022. Uh, I'll watch this clip for you by the end of this video. Now, let's discuss some really cool stuff. Joe Rogan, who has a reach of 8 million users daily almost uh, in the Jay Rogan Experience show, uh, they were talking about Axie Infinity and play to earn metaverse games, right? So that's pretty, pretty cool to see them discuss and this whole situation with play to earn games is gaining more and more traction more and more popularity people want to learn how they can earn money by playing games of crypto like with axie infinity we see the australian open swings into metaverse on decentraland that's right people are going to be able to get into virtual recreation on Bel melbourne park including the road lever arena and grand slam park will be open on duration of the australian open tournament so event will include exclusive content for virtual visitors including behind the scene footage from over 300 cameras around melbourne park including the exclusive player arrivals area and the practice village so there you go uh, that's the future of uh, tournaments metaverse the australia open nfts metaverse is taking another shape this time in australia's tournament now I already mentioned that Walmart is quietly preparing to enter the metaverse with its own collections of NFTs. Um, so we'll, we'll yet to see it come, of course, into reality, but it's already in the works, the filing trademarks after trademarks. And uh, metaverse is coming into Cardano. That's also one of the reasons people are so excited in the Cardano land, because land prices are surging on the Cardano metaverse Take a look at the project Pavia. They're sending those different pieces of land. You know, this is a thousand dollars a piece. Okay, uh, six hundred ADA, five hundred ADA. Um, yeah, it's 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 those plots lands from the Pavia metaverse are listed on the CNFT, the Cardano non fungible tokens that all are moving into only NFTs with the uh, smart contract capabilities. So Cardano needs to scale and scale fast. And just for fun, uh, there was a poll done by the founder of Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin, who asked the audience, if you wake up in 2035 and 80% of all transactions plus saving in the world are in one currency that is not Ethereum, which would you prefer to be? And 42% have been voting Cardano, ADA. That's quite interesting, right? And even more than Bitcoin. <laughs> of course, maybe that was influenced because uh, the Cardano founder told all the community to go and vote for Cardano. But it's fun to see. Now, Sunday Swap, I was already talking to you about that. The main launch is coming on January the 20th. Very, very exciting. Um, mark milestone for cardano ecosystem a lot of millions of dollars will flow into liquidity and DeFi in the cardano ecosystem with the launch of the sunday swap so that's really cool to see and uh that's an opportunity for people to participate in cardano DeFi ecosystem and yield farm 
on Cardano. So that's really exciting. And uh, we'll, we're going to see how that is going to go with their own tokens, of course, Sunday Swap Labs. Uh, the metaverse arrives on Cardano blockchain. So yeah, we already discussed that that piece and a morgo on the cardano foundation launching a project to build a tool stack for developers in order to accelerate that development on cardano so even more apps and dApps are going to be developing on the cardano ecosystem and cardano is getting ready to scale with the hydra solution they're, they're currently doing a test launch and uh they are about to you know uh, preparing for the scale. That's why we have been seeing Cardano kind of break, started finally to break out to the upside. Uh, last week we actually uh, ended up being a green bullish and do uh, engulfing week and currently we are um, you know we are facing some rejection right here at the top of the band on the EMA on a weekly at about $1.60 and if we are able to break it <laughs> then Cardano to go very fast and create the new all-time highs above three dollars per Cardano. And like a uh, three Lao has mentioned, one day in real life equals one hour in DeFi and one minute in NFTs, highlighting how fast, how quickly everything in the NFT space is revol revolving. Now it's very interesting to note that the world's first crypto mortgage is happening right now with milo that's right people are able to use their crypto to secure mortgages for themselves without selling it for the down payment allowing them to keep holding their crypto and get a mortgage on the house a crypto mortgage how does that sound to you that's pretty pretty exciting uh bitcoin is coming to DeFi. alex raised 5.8 million dollars to bring DeFi to the bitcoin ecosystem we'll see how that will go um because it's a uh, it's an interesting DeFi protocol built on a bitcoin link stacks blockchain so it, it it has been in the works it has been in the works so it's been already two months right since uh, they've been working on this so let's see how bitcoin is coming to cardano now let's talk about ref token the ref token is absolutely exploding 195 dollars per rev it's a very very hot uh, coin you can see the price appreciation just in the last seven days has been nothing more than phenomenal if you, if you see the 12 hour chart i mean look at this look at this and there is a reason for that uh, why the price have exploded 560% for the rev holders. And that is because the ridiculously awesomeness of the Manor farm built by Forex Shark developer with currently $70.8 million total value locked where you can get up to 3000% APR on some of these farms, which to give you an idea, that's more than doubling your money every 30 days. That's how lucrative the yield farming opportunities are. So what's happening right now is a transition to layer two and permanent uh, transition of the animal farm. When dogs and pigs, pigs will be the governance tokens of the animal farm, will take control. And you have the opportunity to secure an ownership of the farm by holding and staking the pigs token now how you're going to get the pigs token and uh, receive juicy awesome rewards for staking uh the pig token and enjoy the appreciation of that well well there's going to be a massive pre-sale happening on january the 20th where people can buy p rev uh, p dogs and p uh, pigs, which means pre-sale pigs and pre-sale dogs. And what it allows people to do essentially is get, uh, and why the price of rev has been appreciated so much. Well, first of all, people making some crazy gains and, uh, and people can use the rev to buy the pre-sale pigs and dogs and get 20% discount without any allocations on the pre-sale 
of pigs and dogs. So whatever amount you want, uh, there will be the next couple of days an opportunity for you to grab rev on the open market and to <coughs> buy pre-sale pigs and dogs. Now here is why it can be the mother of all pumps right here for the rev continuing happening even to $500 and beyond, even doubling than where it is right now. Why it can be the case? Because today, rev is going to be stopped being emitted and that means that people are going to stake take their stakes uh, L, uh, liquidity from here they're going to remove the liquidity and they're going to use that liquidity to buy even more rev token because after that rev will be used for p dogs and p pigs there will be no more liquidity for rev all the liquidity which currently is sitting at 13.6 million dollars <coughs> plus all the total value lock so you know that came be like 80 million dollars liquidity is going to go to reward stakers of dogs and pigs right so yeah uh, that could be a mother of all pumps right here coming in the a because of the animal farm and this is the creator of drip he's put together the manor farm and you know drip is the number two DeFi project on binance smart chain growing like crazy you can stake drip you can receive one percent daily on your stake um that's uh, not including taxes with taxes is about 265 percent apr but if you compound daily you can significantly increase the amount of drip that you can stake in the smart contract in the protocol like i'm staking right now 1624 drip coins and i'm adding to the stake at the rate of a couple thousand dollars a day so in by the end of a couple months i'm going to have uh, more than one million dollars in staking for drip token that is quite significant and a million dollars allows you to generate about ten thousand dollars daily rewards on that stake sweet sweet staking rewards so that's why i've been so passionate to tell you guys about the drip network in the last couple of months because i've saw i've seen this happen i've seen the success of the manor farm happened all the way a couple months ago before all of that e even happened right so really really exciting times and if you want to learn how to stake drip i put up together a website called deflationarydailyroi.com where you can check out at deflationarydailyroi.com and learn how you can stake rev uh, how you can stake drip and how you can receive some cool dividends for and rewards for doing just that so that's what i wanted to share with you today now let's listen a little bit to the max kaiser and what his view on bitcoin buckle up because this is going to be <coughs> a good one i never invest in bitcoin i digest i have money and i digest as well and i think that that's the Now, as, as far as 2021 20, goes, goes, I said, hey, we're going to get 220000 per coin, which, which is, is a, a typical, typical four-year cycle. Uh, what we had in 2021 was that massive uh, China collapse in mining and hash power. So the mining and the hash power collapsed 50%. Uh, we have since recovered that now, and we're about to hit new all-time high in hash rate. And so that's why I'm pushing my $220,000 target from 2021 to 2022. So there's really a couple of numbers to keep in mind. There's price, there's hash rate, and there's the difficulty adjustment. Those are the three things you have to keep in mind. Uh, I've always said that price uh, lags hash rate, that hash rate precedes price. And so we're gonna see new all-time highs in the hash rate and followed by new all-time highs in Bitcoin price. The underlying fundamentals I've only gotten stronger. The fiat money world is crumbling. Inflation is out of control. Uh, the Bitcoin network is getting stronger. If you look at the on-chain analysis, that is to say the people who are actually doing transactions, not derivatives, but on the actual Bitcoin blockchain, we see an increase in the holdings of Bitcoin. Uh, the recent price action is driven mostly by derivatives. Uh, so the same uh, kind of price discovery 
you see in the gold market that's kept gold now flat for 10 years and hasn't really budged at all. Um, you know, you start to see some of the derivatives have an influence on the price discovery in Bitcoin. Ultimately, it doesn't matter because the demand for Bitcoin is virtually infinite uh, because fiat money is, as it always does, it's going to go to zero. All fiat money goes to zero. And we'll see that with the U.S. dollar as well. And, I, and, and Bitcoin is now, if you, talk, if, you, if you listen to guys like Bill Miller or Paul Tudor Jones or any of the other major hedge funds out there, they're now openly saying that Bitcoin competes with gold. It's going to get a market share of gold. Gold's market share is about eight, nine, ten trillion dollars. Uh, Bitcoin is going to eclipse that market cap at some point. So all the fundamentals are very strong. Uh, so I'm just bumping my two hundred twenty thousand dollar target from 2021 to 2022. Um, I've been doing well for the past ten years since I first recommended Bitcoin at a dollar. So uh, nobody's really complaining. Hash rate precedes price. So hash rate is the strength of the network. It adds to the security. It's something that no altcoin or what we call shit coins have, including Ethereum. They are all centralized and they're all vulnerable and they don't have any hash rate at all, really. Uh, whereas Bitcoin has most of the hash rate, the overwhelming majority of the hash rate. The hash rate keeps going higher. When countries like El Salvador make Bitcoin legal tender, now my understanding is that several other countries will follow suit and make Bitcoin legal tender as well. Uh, that's another huge fundamental uh, plus for Bitcoin going forward. Uh, the four-year cycle, which is tied to the halving that happens every four years, has been a somewhat reliable uh, predictor of price going back to the beginning of Bitcoin. I've lived through three 90% drawdowns in Bitcoin since I first started buying it in 2011. And uh, this particular drawdown is not particularly, particularly worrisome. Um, it's a great buying opportunity. You know, people are always saying, oh, Bitcoin at 75,000 or 65,000 is too expensive. You know, I wish it were cheaper. Well, okay, it's cheaper. So you should be backing up the truck, loading the boat aggressively. Only put, you know, only have money in fiat shit coins or gold that you're willing to lose. Any money you have in Bitcoin is unconfiscatable. It's uncensorable. That's your only wealth. That is your only wealth, is your Bitcoin wealth. Everything else is confiscatable or going to be inflated away out of existence. The network is growing rapidly and it is already about hitting a new all-time high. So it's, it's flirting with new all-time highs as we speak already in the first few weeks of 2022. So that, should, that trend should continue because uh, more and more miners are coming into the network because mining is a hugely profitable business. Uh, the average miner's cost per Bitcoin is under $8,000 per coin. It, so at these levels, it's a wildly profitable business. And uh, you're going to see more and more countries start to mine Bitcoin. Remember, I said that I was anticipating what I call hash wars or the hash race. So right now you've got El Salvador who's accumulating Bitcoin. They're doing Bitcoin volcano bonds. And we see a couple of other countries mining Bitcoin and adding Bitcoin to strategic reserves. I think once a country in the G7 starts to accumulate and mine Bitcoin, it'll set off like a space race that we saw in the 60s where the Soviets put up uh, the Sputnik satellite and it launched the space race and a man landing on the moon. I think once a G7 country comes out and says, hey, you know, we're adding Bitcoin to our reserves, we're mining Bitcoin, then you're going to see other countries say, hey, we got to get in on this. Uh, the U.S. will come in. The U.S. will come in and start to mine Bitcoin. You've already got a lot of senators in the U.S. right now, like Cynthia Lummis. A third, as I understand her, a third of all of her contributions coming in right now are coming from Bitcoiners. And now we've got many congressmen and senators that are into Bitcoin. We've got governors into Bitcoin. You've got the mayor of Miami. Wyoming is probably going to become a Bitcoin state. Texas could very well secede from the United States and become a Bitcoin state. So this is, this, is, this is the power of Bitcoin. It shows you what you can do with unconfiscatable, uncensorable, perfect money. You start to think differently about the world around you and the governments around you. There you go, guys. There you go. Bitcoin, uncensorable money. If you're holding gold, dollars, euro, fiat currency, all shit coins, <laughs> how he's saying it, 
be willing to hold it only that you're willing to lose right because the value of it goes to zero so that's his warning that's his advice and uh texas miami becoming bitcoin stays is bitcoin maximalist and we'll see if every country according to kevin O'Leary, is going to start mining bitcoin soon with that being said guys i hope you have a fantastic day smash up the like subscribe to the channel step to date with what's happening in the crypto land i'll see you guys in the next episode of today in crypto show